Hello starlets, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. We're bringing a little bit of glamour to everyday life. If you want to join my starlet squad, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Today I am talking about my June favorites and fails. Basically everything I have been loving and hating for the month of June. I apologize right now for the AC background noise, but it is way too hot in here with all of the lights on and stuff for me to not have the AC on so I apologize if that's distracting to anyone but I'm gonna get right into the favorites these are some of the things that I have been loving this month the first product I want to mention I've mentioned this in a couple other videos this month it is the Dr. Dennis Gross or gross, I'm not sure how you say it. Ferulic Acid and Retinol Brightening Solution. I've actually been using this. I think I mentioned the eye cream in another favorites video, which I've been using on my eyes, but I've actually started using this product on my hands and on my feet. I know that sounds odd and it's a very expensive product to be using on your hands and feet, but a little goes a long way, so you don't really go through it all that quickly. I bought a smaller one and was trying it. I went through that one and then I decided to invest in the larger bottle. Honestly, like, it makes my hands feel so smooth. I mentioned it in my hand care video, which I have. And I also started using it on my feet because I find that it gives my feet like a nice exfoliation, but yet it doesn't make them feel chafed. I've tried other foot creams. I have a video about foot care as well and I've mentioned that some other like I feel like anti-aging or exfoliating foot creams have left my feet feeling very chafed especially when I'm working out and this doesn't do that. I find that it is it's gentle but yet effective and you know they always say your hands give away your age and I don't want anybody giving away my age so I've been loving using this does not take very much, just a little bit. I actually also have been rubbing this on my elbows a little bit because they also say your elbows show off your age too. And my elbows just get really rough and dry and I just find that this just exfoliates them and smooths them out. I've just, I've been loving this product. Another product that I tried out, I actually just finished a bottle of it and I wanted to share it with you guys. This is the Clinique Sculptwear Lift and Contour Serum for face and neck. I've been using this on my neck. I have this, like, I have a line in the middle of my neck. I don't like, it's just there. My neck is not exactly my favorite feature. If I could get a neck lift easily, I would consider it, but I'm, I don't have the time or money to go through that kind of drama. So I've been experimenting with several neck creams and this one so far I really like because it's more of a serum so I can use this and then I can just use my regular facial moisturizer over it. I've read reviews of this, I mean I do think it gives your skin a little bit of a tightened look when you first apply it. I don't really know if it necessarily is going to improve it like over time or if it's just that initial effect. I feel like there's some debate online about whether or not you know it really lifts or whether it just temporarily tightens but I don't care if it temporarily or permanently makes my neck feel tighter. I'm all for it and I've really been loving this. It works really well. I use it day and night. It works really well under makeup so I'm happy about this one. I'm not going to get into this next product too much because I have a full review on it, but I've been using this for the past three months and I wanted to give it a full three months because it says it takes about 90 days to really see the effects of it. And I did a whole review with all kinds of details about this product, but I really love it. This is the Clarisonic Smart Profile. This is their facial massager. I don't actually use the face brush that comes with it. I have a different face brush, which I mentioned in the video, but. I use this face massager, it's very expensive, but I have been noticing that like my jawline looks much more defined, looks much smoother. I've just really been loving this product and I intend to continue using it because I really like the act of facial massage in my skincare routine and I just, I really, really enjoy using this product. Another thing I tested out in my makeup reviews for the month was eyeliner brushes. And I have like my top three, which I mentioned in the video, I'll link that video to this one as well. But I wanted to give a shout out to my top three because I really do love liquid liners. And these surprised me because these were not the ones that I expected to be in my top three. I have the Royal & Lang Nickel Fine Liner, which I believe you can only get this one in the kit, but I will link the kit below. The Real Techniques Bold Metals, I really enjoy this one and this one's definitely the prettiest. And then I gotta say one thing that surprised me was the Kylie Cosmetics brush. You do have to buy the Kylie Kylie liner to get the brush, but it's not bad. I wouldn't say that that's my favorite liner, but it is a good liner. 
and the brush is really good too so shout out to that as far as fails this month there's one that I've mentioned this a few times before in the past I've done two different body makeup videos and this is like always in my least favorite but yet it's so hyped up and people love it so much that I just I don't I don't get it because I don't like it this is the Sally Hansen airbrush legs leg makeup and this is in the shade light glow I don't like this product I, everyone raves about it and yes I know it's affordable but I I don't find that it's long lasting I don't find that it's water resistant it's not smudge proof it gets all over everything it's messy to use it's in a spray so it sprays everywhere but yet you you're not even supposed to like spray it on yourself you're supposed to spray it on your hands rub your hands together and then rub it on to me it's like you could have just easily put this in a pump and it would have been less messy. I don't know. There's just nothing I like about this. And I don't know. I don't get why everybody thinks this is such a great product. Because I, I just I don't like it. But I will link my most recent body makeup video to this one. So you can check out all the body makeups that I tried out. And see which ones I liked and which ones I didn't. But this one was definitely a fail. I have another fail this month that I don't... <laughs> It's hard to explain how it's a fail. I think this is like a manufacturing fail, but this has been happening to me a lot, and so I kind of wanted to tell you about it. I've been testing out some like skincare tools. Like I mean, I tested the Clarisonic Smart Profile. This one I received, I started using it. It worked great, no problems with it. But I also picked up, at Ulta, I picked up the, the Neutrogena Light Mask, and I'm gonna do a review on this not here in this video but I am gonna do one that should be up soon but so this isn't a review of the particular mask I bought this at Ulta not this one but I bought one at Ulta got it home read the directions it would not turn on which is a bummer but I get it these things happen so I went back to Ulta I exchanged it they didn't give me any problems. It was totally cool. I got this one. I've been using this. I'm going to have a full review on it soon, so be sure you subscribe. But anyway, that happened, and I didn't think too much of it. I was like, you know what? These things happen. So then after I had finished my 90 days of using my Clarisonic, I wanted to try the new face, which is kind of supposed to lift and tighten the face, and I wanted to give this a try to sort of compare it with the Clarisonic. I ordered this from Sephora. I actually ordered the mini originally. It took forever because apparently this is like doesn't qualify for the free Sephora two day shipping. It took forever to get here and opened it up. I had to charge it overnight. So I charged it overnight. I went to use it. It would not turn on. No matter what I did, this product would not turn on. So I had to go to Sephora. I returned it because they don't actually have it in store. So I returned it and then I basically ordered and I was just like to hell that I'm just going to order the big one. So I ordered this and this one does work and I, I've actually only used it once so I can't really give you a review on this but based on those stories and I feel like each individual thing happening to me was not the end of the world and customer service wise Ulta and Sephora both handle things fine. I mean I can't complain about that. I just feel like the fact that these beauty tools are coming out and the Neutrogena is a relatively low price point but some of these other products are a very high price point and the fact that they're shipping out stuff that isn't working I feel like manufacturers really kind of need to step up the game here and make sure that their products are working efficiently because you know while everything all worked out it was kind of a pain in both situations and the fact that it happened to me like twice <laughs> for two different stores and two completely different companies within the course of a month it's like it's a pain and to me it gets me thinking about like yeah these are tools and they're electronics so you know if they've been sitting there for too long or something you know they can have defects it makes me kind of think to myself like how many of our like actual foundations our actual like cream and liquid and those kind of products are just sitting on a shelf forever and may not even be good by the time they actually get to you. It just got me thinking about that. So I feel like my fail this month is with the manufacturers and how like I feel like they kind of need to step up their game a little bit. That was just my rant. It all worked out. Everything seems to be in order. Rant over. If you want to know what's been going on with me this month, I've actually started doing some fitness vlogs because I am on a fitness journey. If you haven't been following along, every Monday I'm uploading a 
vlog for my oxygen magazine fitness challenge sort of updating you throughout the week it's kind of like a little bit of like a workout food diary updates fitness advice fitness motivation kind of thing so be sure you check those out be sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those I want to know what you have been loving or hating for the month of June so please let me know leave them in the comment section below I'd love to hear from you if there's any products that you would like me to test out and review then please leave those in the comment section below too I love your suggestions if you found this video helpful please give it a big thumbs up a while back I was suffering from anxiety and depression and I truly believe that beauty and makeup saved my life and I believe it can save yours too so if you want to join my starlet squad be sure you hit that subscribe button you can follow me on all my social media channels the links will all be in the description box below along with links to all these products thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join me next time